Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online guide where today we're going to be taking a look at all the available ammo types for all the new gun running weapons in GTA Online so let's get right to the guide shall we? So from order of appearance in the weapon customization menu we have the default clip which is just a default clip. Using a default or extended magazine in your Mark II weapons enables you to resupply ammo for them using the interaction menu. This is handy if you want to use the brand new Mark II weapons but don't want the downside of having very little reserve ammo and not being able to resupply, so thankfully they're there for those kind of players. Next on the list we have Tracer Rounds, which basically fire off a glowing coloured round once every five or so shots in your magazine. The colour of the Tracer Round matches the colour palette of your weapon, making it more of a thing to go wow with instead of it being of any use. I gotta say though the effect does look pretty cool and would look great for use in Rockstar editor movies but apart from looking cool Tracer serves little to no purpose at all. Next up we have Incendiary Round which basically has the chance of setting your intended target on fire for some bonus damage. However this effect is temperamental and only works sometimes so if you were expecting to be wielding a dragon's breath weapon you'll be very disappointed. Sometimes I've been able to get it to work quite a lot, other times it only worked when my target was low on health anyway, and sometimes it didn't work through an entire magazine at all. Incendiary rounds are pretty cool and might work well with the Mark II machine gun, but don't rely on them to work too much. Next up we have armor piercing rounds, which does just that. I did a test on the target wearing full armor at full health and shot him to death with normal ammo and then armor piercing ammo. What's interesting is that in Instead of dealing extra damage to the armor that a player is wearing, it just ignores it and deals damage as if they're not wearing much armor at all. Very interesting. Moving on we have Full Metal Jacket Ammo, which is intended to deal the pain against armoured cars like the Kuruma and the Insurgent, which is what I tested it on. Normally a Kuruma's windows ensure the safety of the occupants inside from being shot in the head. Not with Full Metal Jacket though, these bullets absolutely devastate the windows of a Kuruma and in 3 or 4 shots I have a clear sighting of the target inside. The ammo is also able to deal extra damage just to vehicles alone, so what I did is I started shooting at an insurgent with both normal ammo and full metal jacket ammo. The results are as follows. And finally we have Exploding Rounds, which basically does the following. I hope you enjoyed this short video guide, if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe for loads more GTA Online guides coming to you very soon. See you around everyone.